Okay, YouTubers, uh, this video is going to be about uh, getting waste vegetable oil or getting waste uh, motor oil to burn in a rocket stove and maybe even whatever kind of kerosene or whatever you got to mix in. So let me tell you what you're looking at here. What you're looking at is a six inch coffee can, one pound, uh, that, uh, that I've converted into a sawdust stove. So that hole is goes all the way to the bottom, and then I just screwed that little ring on. Let me just screw this little ring on here down at the bottom. It's screwed on there so it can suck air, and it sucks air up through that hole. And I took a, a little expanded metal and uh, rolled that expanded metal up in a circle, and I didn't even put any tie wire around it. It just stays, and then I cut this little sheet here that goes on top. This, so the top wouldn't catch on fire, right? And what I did was I took sawdust from the shop and uh, I mixed that sawdust with waste vegetable oil. The beautiful thing about it is, is I didn't really mix it really thick. Uh, I just moistened, moistened it and uh, a little bit with the oil, poured enough oil in to moisten it and then packed it in there around that uh, expanded metal and then just dropped in my little lid on top so uh, free sawdust waste vegetable oil without being recycled it'll do burnt motor oil in there too and if you depends on how thick you put it in there it depends on how bad it smokes or if it smokes at all uh, I've run a couple of these this morning and uh, I'm getting a little over two hours burn time in this right and that's I know that's inconsistent with whatever mix I might be running uh, but uh, man I, I tell you what I like it because you don't have to worry about the wick uh, because the wood chips are the wick and you're burning your wick out every time you don't have to worry about going and getting new wicks uh, and I think that's going to exceed I mean it's a bigger flame than uh, wicking up the waste vegetable oil so the little rocket stove when I set this in the rocket stove I'm expecting this to keep the barrel somewhere over 250 maybe 300 degrees so we're going to be doing some burn times on this guys but I'm telling you this inside of a wood stove you got a small wood stove uh, sawdust for free that you can keep dry and a little bit of oil to mix in and a sawdust a six inch can like this this might be all you need okay okay guys thanks for watching